Well, folks, you get a second video out of me today. So what is so important that I will haunt you with my presence twice in one day? Very simply, I would like to know what the hell you people in New York were thinking. Over the weekend, there was a pro-Azov Ukrainian rally in New York where people chanted Azov, Azov, Azov. Dude, really? Really? Now, there are two possibilities. Either you're someone who don't know who the hell Azov is, or number two, you're a neo-Nazi. Which is it? I would like to know. I would hope that if you don't know what the hell you're talking about, that you don't understand the history of the Azov Battalion. My word, Azov, Azov. I might as well be out there screaming, Das Reich, Das Reich, Das Reich, in one of the <laughs> World War II uh, German SS divisions. It was called Das Reich. Or uh, maybe I should be yelling, Gotts von Berliking, Gotts von Berliking, another German SS unit. Maybe I should be screaming that. Uh, folks, why don't you do research? Why do you think that everything you're being told or everything you're being presented is gold? What the hell happened to critical thinking? Just because somebody puts something in front of you, you think it has to be pure. You won't do your own research. And you may ask me why I'm all butthurt about this. I'm butthurt about this because that whole region, the former Soviet Union, the former republics, has been something that I've studied since it was the Soviet Union. And the fact that all the information I've seen over the years and all the research I've done points to me that these people are really not good guys. These aren't the sort of people that you would want watching your children at the playground. In fact, you wouldn't want these fuckers anywhere near your kids. But somehow, it's as of, as of, and I'm not sure what, where this comes from. I'm not sure where this comes from at all. Are you folks that uneducated? Or there's that other possibility. Are you guys neo-Nazis? Do you guys really support Nazism? And it would be weird for me to see a bunch of New York Nazis. You know, New York, you guys always claim to be so uh, liberal and so um, uh, educated and so refined, although I've been to the Bronx, I know better. Um, why do you folks do this? It would be like people people yelling, KKK, all the way, KKK. I mean, same sort of ignorant nonsense. But yet you folks are out there putting yourselves on camera doing it. You know, and then you got the ADL. Oh, well, they're not really Nazis. They're they're Nazis light. Uh, yeah, okay. Right, right, right. Okay, so uh, anybody that waves a, a Confederate flag is automatically branded a, branded a Klansman or a racist, but you guys out there supporting a Nazi light organization, well, you guys shouldn't be held accountable. You guys shouldn't be raked over the coals and humiliated. I, I, I would say that's probably the biggest part about this. I think all those folks need to be humiliated. They need to be called out. Why are you supporting Nazis? Why are you supporting an organization that has done very many terrible things to civilians over the years? And then you need to ask yourself, why is the Ukrainian government allowing such a criminal organization as Azov to serve in their military? Why? Let me tell you what. In my day, if you were a skinhead and you had tattoos, you were thrown the fuck out of the military in, in pretty quick order. I mean, pretty ricky tick. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't something that was allowed to fester, and we sure the hell didn't have a battalion of uh, Klansmen in the Alabama National Guard. We didn't have neo Nazis in the Pennsylvania National Guard or the Illinois National Guard. We didn't have a whole battalion. Why? Because you don't allow that sort of shit. But apparently Ukraine has no issue with it. And I love all the people that are out there constantly making excuses and trying to say that, oh, that's not what it is. Um, look, 
Do your own research. Look back. Don't look at the shit from the last four months. Look at the shit from a year ago. Look at the shit from eight years ago. From eight years ago forward. And you see anywhere the names Adar or Azov exist, bad shit happens. Well, these are totally new guys. These are totally okay. They're totally new guys. So it would have been okay at the end of World War II if the Bundeswehr Army, if they were allowed to have a Das Reich division. Now, you would have been okay with that. No, you don't use the names. You don't. And right now in the United States Army, we are trying to get rid of the 29th Infantry Division's patch. Why are we trying to get rid of the patch? Because it has two colors on it, blue and gray. And it was a divisional unity thing in the United States that half the division was from the, the Old South, half the division was from the Union units. It was a unity thing. And now we've got to get rid of that because there's gray on the patch. I want you to think about that. We have to get rid of a patch that the same guys who stormed the beaches of Normandy on Omaha Beach wore. We have to ban that because somebody is offended by the color. But yet, <clears throat> when you have a infamous unit that has done all sorts of terrible shit, <clears throat> we're going to keep that name? We're going to keep that divisional insignia. Oh, you know, the wool saggle. We're, we're going to keep that. We're going we're gonna to keep the runic imagery that is exactly like World War II Nazi Germany. We're, we're going to keep that, right? That's a good idea? I wouldn't think so. But they're allowed to do so. In fact, they've even done such a great job at trying to whitewash and historically revise that we have, I'm hoping useful idiots, I'm hoping not neo-Nazis, in New York screaming, Azov, Azov. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Why the fuck can't you do research? Why must you take every goddamn thing that the media and the government, although they're the same fucking thing anymore, and you can't prove it's not because we have uh, a bunch of former uh, Clinton administration folks in the intelligence community saying that we can't afford to bust, bust up the monopoly of big tech because it is important to our national security because they have these abilities to censor <clears throat> that we are needed. <clears throat> well, obviously that's telling me that they're already censoring stuff you want censored or you wouldn't want to keep them down. You're okay with them censoring Facebook. You're okay with them censoring Twitter. You're okay with the Facebook fact checking. You're okay with all of that. And uh, then we go about, you know, Barack Obama, oh, we have to fight the disinformation. Well, apparently the big tech and media are disinformation because they told us Hunter's laptop wasn't real until we had to finally admit that Hunter's laptop is real. So, excuse me, folks, what the hell is wrong with us as a country? Y'all take care. Bye.